we're here to provide the analysis for a situation we've been covering for quite some time. And we've become a bit of experts in. Brittany Griner is on a plane back to America. Let us take you back a bit to, so you know if our, what our stance is on this. Stance number one, this is a lopsided trade. This arms dealer we're trading in to get Brittany back is called the Merchant of Death. He could lead up to about 500,000 deaths with his work alone. This was a guy who was selling AK-47s to kill DEA agents. So he's good at his job. The average WNBA game has a viewing audience of 250,000 people. And now you would say, is that per game? That must mean that there's a lot of fans. No, those are the same fans jumping from game to game. No growth. So clearly it's a lopsided trade. But I did say that if America wanted to prove it cared about black women, making this trade and showing them their trade value was a huge, which a huge, which huge deal, huge deal. We now know one black woman's worth 500,000 deaths. Now, the Russians took it up a notch. They put her in a prison colony. And we were not happy about that because typically in island prison colonies, kung fu tournaments. And we were not sure if Brittany Griner knew kung fu. So we started Operation Get Griner, where several black actors, Denzel Washington, Will Smith, Anthony Mackie, Michael J. White, Carl Weathers, Viola Davis, Sam Jackson, would come together like a Tropic Thunder situation and save her. That was our option if we couldn't do the trade. Our other option in that situation was she Shawshank Redemption's her way out in the hopes of a good Netflix documentary. We laid it out and we said, if you care about black women, you will make this deal. And he did. So in the end, I, I, I think we're owed some money. Or at least some credit. So, Brittany, you're welcome. But send us a piece of that Netflix cash. Because daddy needs it. So now, some of you don't want to hear this. You're going to have to start watching the WNBA. You're going to have to. We made this trade. It's your American duty to watch the WNBA now. Because we cannot let Russia think we don't care now. We made a really big deal about this. If the ratings don't go up, Russia wins. And when you make questionable life decisions, you got to defend those. You got to stand by them. Good, bad, and different. Now some are saying, isn't it great she's going home? That's nice. Nice for her. Not nice for the hundreds of thousands who will die because of the merchant of death. They're probably not. Um, celebrating at the moment. They probably don't even know they will be on the receiving end of the merchant of death. No one knows when the trigger will be pulled. But we, as a country, have made a decision. But if you're not going to watch the WNBA, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. And I don't want to hear shit. I want to see all those people who were begging for her to come back to now watch the WNBA. Now that we know that one WNBA player is worth 500,000 deaths, we now have a league of, holy shit, hold on. Let's do the numbers here. 144 players, let's pull out the calculator, times 500,000 deaths, 72 million deaths. These women are now worth 72 million deaths. If we are now watching the WNBA after today, all season long. And you know what? You're going to have to watch some off-season stuff. Sorry. You're, you're going to have to watch some off-season sports analysis about it. If Stephen A. Smith is not today talking nothing WNBA for the next 24 hours, we don't care enough. I want you to know who's the WNBA team in your city. New York Liberty, let's go. I don't know who's on that team. But I know there's players on that team. Current, current roster, all right. Rebecca Allen, bro. Crystal Dangerfield. That name is fire. I'm, 
instantly already following her. Stephanie Dolson, Natasha Howard, Sabrina Iansiku from Oregon. Yeah. Mar- <laughs> Marine Johannes. That's a, that's a, like a little thing over to E. Ben, Benija Laney. I think I said that name right. I'm actually kind of impressed. Michaela Onawari. Dee Dee Richards. Well, I like that. Dee Dee Richards. What else? I like that. It's a cool name. Sammy Wickham. Jocelyn Wallaby. Willoughby. Whoa, Wallaby. Willoughby. I just had a Wu Tang fucking flashback. And Han Zhu. The New York Liberty are taking it this year. I have no evidence of that, but I now follow the WNBA. Some of you might be going, Ralph, are you being sarcastic right now? Maybe. I guess you'll just have to watch the podcast to find out. 